Michelle Brooke, and I'm here with Game Zombie TV, and I am with part of the team from Vaguely Spectacular, Jamie, and we're talking about Spectre today. Can you run us through a little bit of the game? Sure. Spectre's a biographical platformer. You're playing through the story of a, uh, an old man who's looking back on his life, and you're walking through his life um, back and forth from childhood to old age, um, coming across these different memories, and basically playing through a possible story, one of 54 um, different stories that you can experience. And so you're trying to just piece together his life and then his memories, and you said how many different um, levels are there or stages? Well, that's a tough question because there are so many um, different types of levels and stages in the game. There are, um, I think, 12 different bits of the overworld that are parts of his memory, sort of uh, times in his life. There are 112 memories, and there are 54 different ways that this can all come together into uh, endings, depending on how you play through. Because you only get to play nine memories each time, you're finding these different themes that, uh, that connect with you. So can you give us an example of some of the life stages, the possibilities? Like you said, like there was like age six, age 17, and then... Yeah, absolutely. Um, so you could end up telling a story about, a, he, he actually spent some time working in a doll factory and stitching together uh, smiles on dolls, right? And uh, you're, you can basically get this story about how uh, Joseph Wheeler made this one final doll and eventually gave it to his daughter. Now you have to walk through a whole lunch, bunch of his life to find this story. But, and you might not see it on one playthrough. You might instead see a story about uh, the times when he was a journalist uh, in, in a war. Um, different things depending on when you play. Sounds great. And you said you could succeed at memories and you could kind of lose them a little bit. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Sure. Each memory is a mini game, sort of a small, we're, we call them vignettes because uh, they're these small little playable experiences based on how the character sort of feels about the event. There are ones that are more fearful, ones that are really happy moments ones that are more just sort of tranquil zen feelings. And uh, basically, if you succeed at those memories, you get a happy end to that memory, sort of the character thinking about what was positive about it. If you don't, you might get a more negative take on that same memory. Um, and it'll also affect how you play through the game. You're able to uh, actually move past darker memories, sort of get into this uh, get transparent and move past things if you succeed at one of these memories games. Is there any other special features or anything else you'd like to tell us? Um, sure, I think that the, really the most important thing about the game is the way that you move through these memories and pick your own story. Every memory that you touch will turn other memories bright and make other ones darker because it's, it's sort of changing the story that you're telling. Um, if you hit too many of these dark memories, it's like telling all these unconnected stories and the character will be, will end the game and be confused. They'll basically say, I don't know what this story is about. Um, but that doesn't mean that one that these dark memories that you saw this one time may not be part of another story. You Something that's dark one time, when you play a different time, might be bright. The same memory might be part of one story or even two different ones. So Jamie, how can we get a hold of this game? Well, um, Spectre's available for free. It's a uh, Mac and PC download. You just go to the site, www.spectre.com, and pick it up, try it out, uh, let us know what you think. Definitely. Well, thank you so much for all your hope and time. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.